So back in 2010, 2015, when the amount of data was growing massively in the companies, they want a lot of data analysts and data scientists. Everyone was rushing into the field and the bar data was really, really low. All you need to know was a little bit of SQL, Python, Tableau, or Power BI, and boom, you are hired. And not only getting hired, they were getting literally paid lots of money. Fast forward to today, even if you're an expert in all the skills, gaining a job almost seems impossible. And with AI coming into the party now, the role of query data analysts, data analyst interns are virtually non-existent. And even in my current role, 50% of the job is actually done by an AI. So the big question is, is there really any hope for data analytics or has it actually reached a saturation point where there is no hope left? Let's break it down in this video. I am Sandeep and I have more than five years of experience in data analytics and I'm currently working in one of the reputed companies here in US. I do make a lot of videos about data analytics. So if if you are interested in these topics, consider subscribing to the channel. Let's see why getting a data analytics job is so tough nowadays. The reason number one, everyone treats data analytics as a backup career. So fresh graduates, whether they are from civil engineering, electronics engineering, computer science engineering, etc. They all think that they all have data analytics as a backup option. If they don't get a job in the related field of study, then the default option for them is getting into data analytics. And I have seen it firsthand. So when I was doing top mate calls like few months back, I spoke to multiple people from different backgrounds and most of them do not seem to have experience in data analytics. For example, like there was this person from Tamil Nadu. He was an aspiring filmmaker and he was struggling to get into the film industry and becoming a director. So all his friends have suggested him, get into data analytics is a decent paying job and you will not have to really struggle much in terms of income. And this person was asking me advice on how to get into data analytics. It's easy, high paying and very less stressful. So the inflow of people is so massive but the amount of jobs, not really. So the second most important reason is there's just too much competition. People who are having like five years, 10 years, 15 years of experience in data analytics or in the data field who have been laid off from the market are looking for jobs. People who are treating data analytics as a backup plan, they apply. People who are doing their masters in computer science or any other field, they apply. And the list goes on and on and it's infinite. Everyone is literally in the same pool or same bucket and companies want to choose only the really, really, really top 1% of the people for the job. Reason number three, companies have slowed down hiring a lot. The bar is now really, really set very high that you need to be really, really skilled and talented enough to land a job. And the interviews are realistic with how they assess the individuals in terms of the role and responsibilities. The job requirements has gone longer and longer and the expectations are really, really high. Entry-level data analyst roles still exist, but they are very, very rare. That's how the market is right now for data analytics. Reason number four, and in my opinion, the most important reason is AI has changed the game completely. Tools like Cursor, Windsurf, Copilot are now really, really common in all the workplaces. So honestly, in my opinion, the productivity of the current employees in all the companies have gone way, way up. A task which used to take like two weeks, three weeks for me, it now actually takes less than a week. Basically, I'm completing work much faster. And because I'm completing much faster, I'm ending up with a lot of more work and that I can take up because I have more bandwidth. Literally, all the companies have known this. Instead of hiring like probably like five analysts, they can hire just one analyst and equip that person with a really, really powerful AI tool like Cursor or Windsurf. And that's it. That's probably enough for them. And the first roles that get affected, the junior data analysts, the internships. So now the million dollar question. So with all these challenges, which I mentioned now, how to actually become a data analyst in this market? First thing, shift your mindset. Instead of becoming a job seeker, instead become a problem solver. Companies don't want people who need jobs. They want people who can solve problems. So if you have a resume and it says like, I know SQL, I know Python, I know Power BI, I know Tableau, that's just not enough. That probably was enough maybe 10 years ago, but not anymore. Instead, it should say, I use SQL or Python to do this and it had this impact on the company. So your resume strictly needs to show what you have done. If you feel your resume is not good enough, you can fix that. And to fix that, you need proof of work. So here's how you can build your proof of work. That is real world projects. So here's what I would do if I want to build real world projects. First thing, I probably go on LinkedIn, Twitter or Reddit and look at all the problems that people are facing or the customers are complaining about and then list it down in Notion or Google Sheet. Then I will probably pick the top two or top three problems which I feel has more impact, I would probably build a SaaS style solution using some of the no-code AI tools like Lowable, Replit, Bolt, and V0, and then get, build out an MEP first. And then I would release off the MEP uh, into the market and see if I can get some feedback and keep iterating and iterating until I build a good product. 
the other thing what you can do is which is one of my most favorite ones is you can go to your nearby local businesses or local stores like a salon or garment shop local cafe or boutiques and offer them and pitch them that you can actually build a data analytics solution you can actually build a data analytics dashboard that can help improve the sales and revenue and most probably if they don't already have something like that they would be willing to say yes because that's all these local businesses need more customers and need more money that's that's actually a real world problem which you can solve right now by stepping out of your doorstep the other thing what you can try is go to fiverr and upwork and try to see if you can land a client most probably it's going to be really tough but at least you can take those projects and actually still build them even though you're not building them for the client build them for yourself and you have all these ai tools already so you can use it self learn all the tech stack build it and you can list them on your portfolio that way you have at least a real world experience and and this can be listed on your resume or portfolio and the other thing what you can try is dm early stage founders or startups directly on linkedin try to approach as many as c level executives as you can and see if you can help them in any way and ask them if they have any internship opportunity or even you can do an unpaid internship for them if they agree these are some of the things you can try to actually build out your proof of work and that's when you actually start applying for jobs the second idea become a data generalist not just a data specialist the old path of just learn sql python tableau power bi you sorted it's not valid anymore instead you need to understand the full end to end data life cycle so you need to know data transition data engineering data warehousing data modeling data analytics data visualization insights reporting and so on there are like so many nuances in data analytics and even if you are not an expert in any of them at least you need to know the basic concept of each of these stages to become a data generalist so so my recommended tech stack for you would be for data collection learning apis and how they work python kafka and all that are really good for data warehousing snowflake bigquery postgres for transformations dbt databricks python sql are really good and for data visualization power bi tableau looker and for cloud aws azure gcp even if you know any one of this that's good enough third thing become ai savvy you have probably heard this quote multiple times ai won't take a job but a person using ai will take a job and i strongly believe in that there are like so many ai based tools that have come out like for ai coding you have cursor windsurf and github copilot for ai agents nite and make.com zapier are really really good and for ai based website builders you have global replit bold v0 which are the most popular ones and last but not the least that's one thing that i really want to stress it's this build an online presence for yourself and build a brand for you this is really really huge and massively underrated in my opinion so linkedin youtube instagram all these are really powerful platforms that can allow you to reach a wider audience and build out a brand for yourself i in my personal experience when i got laid off if i hadn't done content creation on linkedin put out more posts made myself more visible i wouldn't have landed this job what i'm currently working in post your learnings post your journey post your projects post your mini experiments what you're doing post anything what you feel is more valuable to a lot of people reading the posts so if you're sharing a project or experiment out there on linkedin try to see if you can make a youtube video out of it and link that to the post so high risk high reward if you put in the work and work really hard you will land your dream data analytics job even though it might take a lot of time if you really want to know more about how to build an online presence on linkedin or any other platform comment below and i will make one for you if you're someone with zero experience and are still thinking like how to build a portfolio your resume for yourself i'll put a link to one of the videos i made but five real world data analytics projects that you can try for yourself and help build your resume and portfolio if you found this video really useful hit the like button drop a comment below and i'll see you in another video bye